Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, I really want to talk on my mini bum bag because I got loads of comments from you guys with concerns and questions and wondering what I'm going to do about my bag ever since I showed you guys the unboxing of it. It's been a month now, so I want to talk about that. But before I jump into this video, I want to do a few housekeeping things first. Hi, hello, my name is Imani. I love talking about fashion, beauty, and the intersection of health and sustainability whenever I can. For those of you who don't know, I am a cancer survivor. I'm a cancer thriver, baby. With three kids, I had three in three years, which was definitely a choice. And so I love blending that intersection in to the content that I create. We are almost at a thousand subscribers and oh my goodness, 2023, 2024, excuse me, 2024 is going to be the year. It's the year that I've accomplished so much with my content creating and I'm excited to take it to the next level. What I'm more excited about is to finally be able to gift these code color collection pieces from Chanel. I have been so excited about this because it's literally, I think, my favorite collection from Chanel that Chanel dropped last year. I think it's the most day-to-day -day us usable piece, uh, or usable collection that Chanel has. I wish they'd come out with more fun pieces like this. Um, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So that is gonna be coming soon. And I'm so excited about that. Okay, so I am gonna have a companion piece for this video with this bag that will go more in depth as well. So if you want to see that, go check out the link down below for my blog. And just a few more things before you actually jump into the video. I wanna start showing you guys like the perfumes and things that I wear, cause I am a perfume girly. And I know a lot of you guys are too. So I'm wearing like this little cherry like cardigan today from Luna Ivy and I just, I think it's so cute. I found it at TJ Maxx. I'll try to leave down links down below for cardigans and sweaters, kind of like it as well, um, because I just know Luna and Ivy, like online, it's kind of expensive. So I'll leave like the links for that below, but I'll also try to like leave dupes and stuff like that. But because I'm wearing this little cherry number, right now I'm wearing Kaoli a love best. It's pretty close to Tom Ford burnt cherry. I would say it's a little bit more sweeter than burnt cherry. It doesn't have the same kind of like smokiness and deepness to it, but it's a very good substitute, I think, for burnt cherry. And then I paired it with O Cherry from Bath and Body Works as like a mister. I feel like these two go really, really well together. And if you're looking for a nice, sweet, free fall scent, I think these are two really good choices for that. Do not mind the background, you guys. Like my room's a mess and I'm trying to get ready for a fall decor because I don't know I'm a spring girl but fall is a close second but I'm a spring girl at heart but I love decorating for fall so we're getting into that right now next thing I wanted to show you guys is my bag of the moment I've been moving around a lot I've been out of the house a lot which is not normal for me so I've had to carry a lot of stuff and a lot of my own stuff which means I get to be in my Montane MM this is the MM size I know I had a video talking about this bag and I called it the BB and that's because in my mind the bag that I was originally going after was the BB um, and then I realized the MM just makes more sense for my lifestyle, but I still almost always will say it's the BB size like right away and then have to correct myself. Um, so this is the Montaigne MM. I have not seen this on the American site for a while. I know if you look at certain Europe sites, you can find it on the European site, but um, I haven't found it on the American site, but you can find this second hand and I'll leave some links down below for that as well. I absolutely love this bag. It literally can carry literally everything that you need in it, which is why it's such a heavy bag. I think um, like, ugh, I wish they had fun prints in canvas with this bag, right? Because the leather makes this bag ridiculously heavy. So it's a really, really heavy bag. I had a friend carry this bag recently and they were like, what the heck do you carry in here? I'm like, literally in my life. Um, so that's the bag I'm in in the moment. And then I'm using, I think this is the Sarah wallet. It's either the Sarah or the Emily. I'll put the correct one down below. Um, the difference is this little flap here. 
I really, really love this wallet too. I'm generally not a big wallet girl. I've told you guys that several times. I'll either go for my Zoe or for one of my Rosalie wallets. I um, much prefer those, but I figured I got these at the same time. Um, I'll go and give this a use and oh my goodness, it's just so convenient. And so I feel like every time I do jump into this wallet, I love it. So I'm gonna try to stay in here for a little bit. All right, now that we've gotten all the housekeeping out the way, it's time to talk about what you clicked on this video for. And that is this gorgeous mini bum bag in the Colonial color. It's a gorgeous bag, absolutely stunning and beautiful bag. It came out, I wanna say early August of this year, 2024. And it's kind of a re-release of a collection, I believe that came out fall 2022. Um, Cause I think 2023 Louis Vuitton did that burgundy color, um, that wine color. Um, and this, the color is absolutely stunning. And I'm so happy that Louis Vuitton did do a re-release of this because I remember when I saw it in the Speedy 25 and in the On The Go, I'm like, I really want that. But I hesitated because I have the Montaigne M&M in um, Emprunt leather and I'm just like, ooh, that's going to be a really heavy, heavy bag. And I wanted a bag that I knew I can like easily gravitate towards. That's not going to kill my back because I do have bad back and bad shoulders. Um, and so seeing the smaller piece, I knew that this was going to be the one for me. And I was looking into the mini bum bag anyway, and I just didn't really like it in the con uh, canvas version. So. This was obviously a perfect choice for me. However, when I unboxed it, a lot of you guys saw that I had some problems with it. Um, so the first main problem I had with it was the zipper isn't the best. And so I can unzip it easily. I struggle a little bit to zip it up. As you guys can see here, the zipper isn't the best. I feel like part of that is an artifact for how the bag is just constructed. So you'll notice when I unzip it right here, you see how tight it is on this edge over there? That's because the zipper doesn't come all the way over. Um, and so it is tight putting things in and out, especially on this side. It can be a little bit of a struggle. Um, and I don't like that, but I do feel like I can switch out bags time and time and time and time and time again, and I would still have a very similar issue because of just how the bag was made. It's not a defect, it's how the bag was constructed, poor design, um, I would call it. The front pocket also, I think has a lot of issues with the zipper. I've noticed a lot of people have mentioned that, um, and it's not something that really bothers me that much. Uh, you see the more and more I zip it, the better it gets. And so I'm wondering if, you know, something's wrong with the zipper in that it's like a little tight, a little stiff, and if wax would help that. Um, I was supposed to go to Portland, actually go to Portland uh, last weekend, um, but we were just so tired with everything that was going on. Um, we just stayed home. And so I'm kind of glad that I did get this shipped to my friend so that I could get it like without having to pay taxes because girl, I don't believe I should have to pay extra for this bag because this strap is probably the most cheapest janky strap I have ever seen in my life. And when I say that, I'm not even kidding. So when I was younger, you know, I would go downtown around the way and I would go and get like, you know, knockoff bags. I wouldn't even say dupes or replicas cause they were replicas, but they were incredibly, incredibly, incredibly cheap bags, like 20, 30 bucks, you know? A lot of times when people think of the quality of replicas, that's what they're thinking of. Um, and the strap feels like it came from one of those. Like one of those straps would have been better than what Louis Vuitton gave here. Um, I'll put up pictures so you guys can see, but I finally contacted the Louis Vuitton repair for the first time. It wasn't so scary. I had wanted to go in in person, but after I send this and however this goes, I will then start sending in the other pieces that need repair. Um, 
but I had this bag for about two weeks before I started getting damage to the bag. And so the um, stitches are popping up over here. Glazing is not sticking down. Our glue is not sticking down. Glazing is deteriorating. Um, you would have thought I've had this bag or this strap for years with the type of damage that it has. And I'm not used to that type of lack of quality control from Louis Vuitton. What I can say is I have a lot of vintage pieces as well as newer pieces, as well as pieces that aren't like necessarily new, but you know, they're from a time where before the pandemic. And I want to say the older pieces I do feel are better constructed or made of better material tend to like look a lot better and look like they're worth the money, if that makes sense. Because I feel like pre-pandemic, Louis Vuitton had better access to better resources to make a more higher quality product. Post-pandemic, I feel like a lot of companies, there have there's still a lot of supply chain issues, right? And so a lot of companies are cutting corners to like raise profits, raising the prices, but they don't have access to the same superior product and uh, uh, the supplies that they used to have. And so you're getting a subpar product for a premium price, which I don't really think is fair to the consumer, which is part of the reason why I don't have any problems with people who want to put their money into replicas. By the way, a replica company reached out to me and I'm kind of curious. Like I said, I don't buy replicas myself anymore because for me, I'm not that rich, right? I like to see my money in my closet and I know if I need to sell any of these pieces, I can sell it and get, you know, most if not all my money back depending on where I sell it. I can't do that with the replica. So I personally don't spend my money in replicas, but I know that some of you guys who are watching me, uh, especially on Instagram, right? Replicas, like you love them and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm wondering if I should accept the offer and just see what these replica companies are doing nowadays. Uh, let me know what you think. But all that said, I don't think it's fair to the consumer that you are paying these higher prices for a superior product and the products coming out sub quality, right? Um, but every consumer has the choice to make if they want to invest in that. I decided I wanted to give this bag a try and the bag itself is good. So I'm glad I did that, but the strap, the strap is not it. So I reached out to Louis Vuitton and they did say that they would repair it for free, no cost. Um, and it wasn't a hassle. I know some people said it was a hassle for them. I did go online, um, I submitted pictures and they're like, just send it to us and we will send you a new one. And so this strap is going off to UPS to get sent back to Louis Vuitton because like I said, this is not okay. I did want to compare this strap to the strap of my Speedy 20. Um, I feel like it's kind of close. The difference is the Speedy 28 has like the gold chain attached versus the mini bum bag. The gold chain is a separate entity here. But for the most part, these straps are the same. They're even almost like the same length. Yeah, it's crazy. But for the most part, these straps are the same. And so this strap I've had for like a year and a half. I got it in May, 2023. Obviously this strap is brand new. I have traveled the world with this strap. I've literally traveled from, you know, all over America, you know, the Americas, let me say that, Mexico, Canada, all around the US, um, with this bag shoved in my suitcase. And uh, literally pretty much no damage. There's no pop stitches. The glazing is not coming off. There is some dirt rubbing right here from the friction of this going like this. And there is um, some tarnishing of the D-ring right here from, you know, the metal rubbing against each other. But that is it. Nothing else is wrong with this strap. And when you hold this strap, it is weighty. The leather is nice and plush and it is, it's just nice leather to hold in your hands. 
you hold this and it feels like it's gonna disintegrate in your hands. I'm not even kidding when I said that this feels like, you know, something you get off of Canal Street. Um, you know, it's it's not that great quality. Um, even the metal doesn't really feel that great compared to the metal that comes with this strap on the bag or on, you know, compared to the class uh, here on my Speedy 20. Um, so it just really makes me kind of think, what are they doing over there at Louis Vuitton? This was not okay. Um, I am glad that they immediately said that, you know, they would repair it. There was no additional questions or anything like that asked. So maybe if you are kind of scared, if you get a sub quality product, um, maybe the best route is to go online and request a refund and present your case that way. That way you're not dealing with a sales associate who, you know, may have personal feelings or something like that. I don't know. All those sales associates I've ever dealt with in person have always been lovely people. And I've been to some of the stores where people are like, all the sales associates are rude. And I've never had that experience, you know, not just at Louis Vuitton, but at any luxury store. And I've been to a lot of them. Um, and I've never personally had that experience, but I know some of you guys have. I'm not trying to invalidate anyone else's experience. And so if you are scared, you know, maybe you go online. However, um, it's not okay to get a subpar product like this. Um, so uh, definitely return it if there is an issue um, and get something that's not messed up. I do wanna say overall though, this bag itself has been amazing. I have been loving the mini bum bag, dare I say, it may be one of my favorite small miniature bags and I think it is perfect for an on the go type of mommy lifestyle. I'll show you what I've typically carried in here. So I've got some of my favorite SLGs to show you guys what I typically put in here. So I have my little mini pochette, which I can't believe I didn't get before, but I have two of them now, I'm loving it. This one's a little overstuffed, but it fits in there without a problem. You just wanna kind of tuck the little leather tab inside. Then I have my clay pochette, and I kind of stuff that in sideways like this. <laughs> Then I have my card holder. This one I picked up in Chicago and I love how the Damier Abin is like sideways. So it kind of looks like circus print with like these metal rivets in it. Kind of stuff it like that. Then I take a little lippy. I put the lippy on top and that's pretty much all I keep in it. Oh, a cell phone. I know some people put two cell phones in there. I always have like my main cell phone out on me and this is just like my work phone. And I can stuff my work phone or my main phone in there as well, but I don't want to push it. So that's pretty much everything, like how I pack it. And then she zips up just fine. And then in this front pocket here, I go ahead and I take my headphones and I stick my headphones in there. And then she is all zipped up with pretty much everything I need. I do also have my nifty little charger here and sometimes I can fit it in there, but like the, um, my mini pusha is really full. So I wonder if it will fit today. I went ahead and I shoved that in there. I'm going to zip it up. And it zipped up no problem. And so the bag holds like your basic essentials, but I have gone out with this and had no issues. Um, literally everything I need is stuffed in here. So I do feel like this is a really good size mini bag. The last thing I do wanna say though, is be careful of the interior, especially if you have a lot of rose ballerine items. So it is a man-made microfiber material. A lot of Louis Vuitton bags are like that. I've had them, never had an issue. But my poor six ring key, I'm not sure if you can see it. I've had this bad boy for years, for years. And I put it in this bag and that interior just messed up my button. I've tried to clean it 
and it's stained. It has this ugly brown stain. Am I gonna do anything about it? Absolutely not. I don't think it's worth the repair price to get it repaired, but it got stained from the interior of my bag. So just be careful with some of your lighter color items. I haven't had a problem with the emperant leather of my little key clay yet. So um, I'm, I'm just still very careful. Um, but yeah, be careful because it will rub and it will stain. All right, side note. I need to tell you guys, this is kind of so embarrassing. So the day after I got this bag, did I tell you guys? Of course I didn't tell you guys. The day after I got this bag, did you know I lost it? I straight up lost it. I can't believe it. So I was in a meeting and then I went to the bathroom and I hung my bag up because I'm not holding my bag using the bathroom and I'm not putting it on the floor. So I hung it up, right? I went to go wash my hands and then I left. We went out to dinner. I went to go pay. I'm like, where's my bag? And I'm like, did you leave it in the car? I'm like, I would not have done that. Um, and so we went back to the car, didn't see in the car, we had to go back to the bathroom. And fortunately, nobody went in this doll or if someone did, they just left it there because they knew someone would come back for it. Um, but it was hanging there in the stall. So your girl with her bird brain almost lost her brand new purse. I would have been so freaking sad had I lost it. Um, but we got her back and everything's good. But oh my goodness, I'm kind of embarrassed to share that but uh yeah that's what <laughs> that's what happened oh my god but we found it and it's good everything's good nothing was missing nothing was added that's also important nowadays um so we're all good there all right you guys so that's kind of the update with my mini bum bag in cognac the strap is going back Today I have the box that I'm going to send it in. I have my shipping label already printed out. So it is going back today. I will give you guys another update when I get the new strap for this bag. Um, I'm excited. I don't have to send the whole bag back. So I will still be using this bag probably just like this or using another strap. I wonder how it looks like with the Speedy 20. I have the black one too, so I might prefer that it doesn't look too wild it doesn't look too wild with the speedy 20. oh what i didn't show you was so i have one of the old school round coin purses i know they have the new ones where you can attach it to your bag and i'm not buying a new one this is like my first louis vuitton piece that um i bought that was not like a bag I have like these little pieces right here that you can use to shorten your bag strap. They're used with Chanel bags a lot. I know you can get them for free at certain Chanel stores. I bought a whole bunch in bulk because I don't really live by luxury stores like that anymore. But basically I took one of those and attached it to the bag here. And then I just slipped the zipper onto it. So I'm able to add my little coin purse right here and it zips open easily and whatnot. I've been using it a lot um, for like cash and things like that. But just another little thing that you can do with your bum bag if you have like the older style um, coin purse or if you have the new one, just attach it to the side. It looks really, really cute. I think it's perfect for fall. Anyway, you guys, that is it for my little update with the mini bum bag. I will keep you guys up to date what happens next. It is getting shipped out to a day and hopefully it doesn't take too long for me to get the new strap. Um, but in the meantime, I get to keep the bag, which I'm really excited for. Um, because I do genuinely like using the bag and the bag itself is fine. It's just the strap that was the main issue for me. So with that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, new night, whatever time it is you guys are watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.